getting married and buying a home are the most significant commitments you can make in your life. Did you know that uh, your marriage contract can significantly impact your bond application and your home ownership journey? Let's dive into how different marriage contracts would influence your bond application because that is very much important to understand. So the first segment or the first session of this video will focusing on understanding the marriage contracts, right? So in South Africa, your marriage contract determines the nature of property ownership or whether both spouses need to consent a future bond application, right? So there's basically three types of marriage contracts that you can engage in, right? Depending on your preferences, depending on the understanding between you and your partner, you can agree on which type is more favorable to you. So the first one is in community of property, right? The second is out of community of property. And the third one, which is the last one, but not the least, is out of community of property with accrual. Right? So I'm going to go into detail of what each and every one of these actually means. Right? So when we talk about in community of property, so in community of property means that all assets, including properties, are jointly owned by both spouses, by both the wife and the husband. Right? So any applications uh, that will be done, right, it will uh, require a mutual com uh, consent between the two parties, right? So if the marriage ends, right, the assets are to be divided equally. So that's very much important to understand. So this is also the default option if no other contract is specified. What do I mean by that? So if you are married traditionally or you have paid Lobola and then you didn't sign at a home affairs, what it means is that you are basically married in community of property because it is not clearly specified what type of marriage you are involved in, right? So then let's move to the next one. What is out of community of property, right? So out of community of property requires an antinuptial contract, right? So the contract keeps each spouse's assets separate, right? So if the marriage ends, each... Uh, um, each party or each spouse will retain their own assets. So this arrangement can be or can be with or without accrual, right? So what is uh, without accrual? Accrual means that each spouse keeps what they bring into the marriage, right? So with accrual means the assets that have been accrued acquired during the uh, the period of marriage they will be shared equally so that is very much important that you understand that ne? and then the third one but not the least which is out of community with accrual right so with accrual it means that the assets that are obtained before marriage remain separate but those acquired during marriage are jointly owned right if the marriage ends, the spouse with fewer assets can claim half the difference between the two. <laughs> you got it, right? So it's very much important that before uh, you go into marriage with your partner, both partners clearly understand what type of marriage works because these affect your future, future properties, right? So let's go to the next segment. The next segment talks about how marriage and credit score aligns, right? So what you need to understand is that uh, marriage does not match your credit scores. Né? So each spouse retains their own individual credit scores. Né? But however, when applying jointly for the bond, both credit scores will be considered, right? A poor credit score from one spouse can lead to the application being declined, right? So what it means is that in such cases, it is very much important that uh, it's better for the spouse with a good credit score to apply a loan, provided that they can afford the bond 
repayment. So this can be done even if you are married in community of property. Right? You just need to specify this upfront, but still remember the other spouse that is not even applying the bond must consent to the buying of the property. Very much important. So how does marriage contract affect property purchases? Right? So your marital status plays a crucial role in the property purchase, right? And in the financing of that property that you want to buy, right? So if we are talking, for example, in a community of property, it requires both spouses to consent for any transactions, right? But out of community of property allows each spouse to act independently regarding their assets, right? With accrual will mean that a joint ownership of the assets acquired during the marriage requires the mutual agreement of uh, the property transaction, right? But there's other uh, customary uh, uh, laws. How do they play into, run, in, into this, right? So like when we talk about African or uh, Muslim wedding, wedding ceremony. So for customary marriages, they are recognized under the recognition of customary uh, message, uh, marriages, uh, the Act 120 of 1998, so may influence the property ownership, right? If married before the Act came into effect or outside South Africa, the rules might differ. So always check your contract for specific details when it comes to this, right? But there's key questions that you need to ask yourself, right? Or you need to discuss with your partner when choosing a marriage contract consider the following one do you want to go 50 50 on everything is that something you prefer individually right and then if both of you agree on this then good shot no problem right the second thing is do you have pre-existing assets right and then those pre-existing assets if you do have them do you want to share them with the spouse or you want to exclude your spouse from them right so this has nothing to do with love right because at the end of the day you might be protecting yourself or your children right to to uh, to inherit those parts so you need to look at those things right nothing to do with love <laughs> but I know that most will differ against me. But tell me what you think on the comment section. That what what do you think? What are the things to consider? Does it mean that if somebody says I want to get married out of community or out of community with accrual, does that mean that uh, they don't love you? They love you any less? Let me know. Let me know. I would like to hear what you think about that. Right. So each married contract offers different levels of asset protection and ownership, right? So it is very important to, uh, uh, for one to choose uh, an option that aligns with their financial goals and uh, uh, financial future, right? So this is very much important, right? Marriage and home ownership are intertwined in many ways. So understanding your marriage contracts affect your bond application and can help you make an informed decision and avoid potential pitfalls. So always consult with a legal expert to ensure that you choose the best option uh, for your circumstances, right? But like always, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you found it very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this uh, with your friends. I will see you on the next one. Of course, this is the big elephant. Ndokuriya Manenji. Cheers. I am out.